there's an argument over who really has the responsibility for declaring the government, or not the government, but the country to reopen. President Trump tweeting earlier today, quote, for the purpose of creating conflict and confusion, some of the fake news media are saying that it is the governor's decision to open up the states, not that of the president of the United States and the federal government. Let it be fully understood that this is incorrect. It is the decision of the president, and for many good reasons. With that being said, the administration and I are working closely with the governors, and this will continue. A decision by me in conjunction with the governors and input from others will be made shortly. Now, I just checked on the constitutionality on all of this with George Washington University law professor and constitutional expert Jonathan Turley, who's very familiar to viewers of Fox about the president's tweet. And uh, Professor Turley told me, quote, he, the president, has nothing beyond persuasive authority on opening up the country. This is a state issue. As I have said, he has persuasive, not command authority. The strangest part about Trump not knowing that he doesn't have the power to order states to reopen their own economies is that it's right there in the 10th Amendment to the United States Constitution. And so obviously when Trump read it, he would have seen that, yeah, no, okay, that makes sense now. This is Fox News' John Roberts explaining that, despite Trump's tweet affording himself unilateral power, in fact, he doesn't have command authority over the states when it comes to reopening the economies, but rather that he can only suggest that they be reopened. And I think what's most notable about that is that Republicans called Obama an authoritarian when he tried to give more Americans health coverage, but when Trump tries to literally assume authoritarian rule over the individual states, those same constitutionalists on the right seem awfully quiet. Now, while the president might not have had a chance to read the constitution between episodes of Hannity and Judge Jeanine, here's the cliff notes. The powers not delegated to the United States by the constitution nor prohibited by it to the states are reserved to the states respectively or to the people. Meaning that if the constitution does not explicitly delegate a power to the federal government, then that power belongs to the states. And last time I checked, reopening states' economies in the aftermath of a pandemic wasn't afforded to the executive branch in the United States Constitution. Even Jonathan Turley, the constitutional scholar whom the GOP paraded into the impeachment hearings for the sole purpose of defending Trump, wouldn't grant him this absurd notion. For the guy who claimed that he, quote, doesn't see a quid pro quo, despite even Mick Mulvaney admitting at the briefing room lectern that there was a quid pro quo, despite the Ukrainians claiming that they knew the announcement of a probe into the Bidens was a precondition for the release of the aid, despite Trump himself admitting on the White House lawn that the purpose of the call was to get an investigation into the Bidens, for that guy to turn around and say, yeah, Trump has zero power to order any states to reopen their economy is pretty much the last nail in the coffin. But here's the most bizarre part about this. Trump diffused responsibility to the states this entire time. He literally pretended that the federal government wasn't even supposed to have a role in addressing the pandemic. He claimed that the federal stockpile wasn't meant for the states, but for the federal government. And if you're thinking to yourself, that doesn't make sense, you'd be right. The guy has shirked every ounce of responsibility that the White House should have had in addressing this pandemic. But now suddenly, he wants to issue a power grab in defiance of the 10th Amendment to assert authority over the individual states when he couldn't even be bothered to show up when he had the authority to. It's almost like he just wants power to have power, but has no interest in actually doing the work involved with the assumption of that power. But even if Trump had the authority to reopen the states, which again, he doesn't, but if he did, it wouldn't matter. He proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that his judgment isn't to be trusted. Why should we trust the guy who failed at timing the closing of this country to know when to reopen it? The last time we trusted Trump with the power to take action to even recommend closing the country, he blew it. He showed up on stage at rallies and during press briefings and on Fox News and pretended the outbreak was fake and that it was contained and that cases would soon be down to zero and that we should all keep going to work and buy into the stock market and ignore those crazy alarmist Democrats warning of a deadly pandemic. Those words, that denialism, that lost time led directly to an explosion of cases in this country and more than 20,000 dead Americans. And that's the guy we're supposed to trust now to time America's reopening? Give me a break. If we've learned anything from this, it's that the only people worth listening to are scientists and doctors and those leaders who defer to scientists and doctors. Those are the people who have the best interest of Americans in mind. Because while Trump may be looking out for himself, his political future, and the stock market, none of those will help Americans stay alive.